Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we are a bit behind, but you guys know our schedule is extremely crazy. Um, but nonetheless, here we are. Before we get into your reading, Virgo, I want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that like to shop on our online store. A lot of the products that have been sold out have now been restocked. We have them now back um, for sale. As you guys can see here, we have the soap line that a lot of your favorites that sell out very quickly are on the store. You'll be able to purchase that on there as well as our oils, the oils that sell very quickly. And we also have uh, specific candles for specific workings. They have been ritualized through ceremonial rites. You don't have to do anything other than light and follow the instructions on um, on the site. So anyways, if you guys are interested, definitely click on the description link below or you'll be able to find the link at the end of every single video. For those of you guys returning, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can help our channel continuously keep growing. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2022. Let's get into it. Spirits, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to know for this month of March 2022? Give us communication with the element of air. Give us finances and career element of earth. Give us the challenge element of fire. Give us love and romance or partnerships element of water and spirits message. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Virgo? A lot, a lot of things are happening astrologically. So, have you guys been feeling a little bit depleted on energy? That's completely normal. We hadn't had any uh, planets in any of the fire signs. And what that usually indicates is our energy, our creativity is a bit slowed down. Um, but that's quickly already changing. So, you have to look forward to that. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Here we go. First card popped out. I'm going to keep it. All right, general energy for the month of March. We have the justice card here. So we are talking about balancing of scales. We are talking about putting effort and energy towards being balanced, Virgo. Are you putting effort and energy in your home life as well as your career in finances as well as with connections or partnerships? Justice card does symbolize having the need to balance as well as making decisions, decisions that uh, may impact you, for some of you guys, could be uncomfortable decisions that are need to be made. Uh, nonetheless, they are necessary for this month of March. All right, so communication, you have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups could indicate that you have either recently or perhaps for some of you guys have been dealing with someone that uh, recently sparked your interest. Um, it's definitely being reciprocated here with the Two of Cups. This is an indication of uh, being on the same page or communicating and being received very well, the way you express yourself or communicate. Um, this can also indicate having the need to be a little bit more emotional when communicating. Try not to be so cold or very much to the point, Virgo. It's necessary for you to tune into your compassion. Yes, this may indicate having the need to not be so straightforward. Um, you may hurt people's feelings. Uh, so for this month, again, be a little bit more compassionate about that. All right, next card here with your finances and career, we have the Prince of Swords. Uh, so I definitely see someone very closely attentive looking towards you, uh, looking at what you're doing or your productivity. You may actually be experiencing a bit of hoverness energy. This could be supervisors. This could be the people that you work with being a little bit agitated because of that. Um, however, what they are telling you is keep your nose to the grindstone, um, you know, whenever you go in there and there are certain expectations, make sure to put a little bit more effort to prove, uh, not to others, but to yourself that you're more than capable of doing it. And of course, we all know Virgos are extremely detailed, um, but this is basically focusing and being a little bit, having the need to be a little bit more aggressive in your production or productivity. Uh, this can also indicate um, a bit of strife when we're talking about rumors, people talking, um, anything like that. Keep yourself at bay. Try not to um, give any personal opinions. Again, you may rub someone the wrong way in a negative way. And this could be actually an individual that has some type of pull or some type of superiority, if that's how you say it. Um, the feeling of 
you know, just I don't want you guys to feel like uh, for the month of March, you got to be walking on eggshells. Uh, that's not what they're saying here. What they're saying is just be uh, be patient. Don't be very quick to react to certain things um, because the communication may come off as, again, like I said, a bit aggressive on your part. Try to be a little bit more compassionate. Any rumors or anything like that, stay away from that. Now, the challenge for this month is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups could indicate, um, you know, putting a lot of effort or energy. Maybe you're, you know, been experiencing like you kind of burnt out and there is a feeling or something brewing underneath Virgo where you're going to get to a point of feeling like you want to let loose or bring down your hair, quote unquote. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure that you are putting in work as much as you're having fun. Um, it's about maintaining balance. Remember that. Now, when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, you do have the six of cups here. I, I am wanting to mention here with the two of cups and the prince of swords, three of cups, if you've been uh, a little bit more proactive on social media and there was some type of separation or breakup, um, if you've been noticing someone like looking a lot at your profile and they, as an example, they don't have many followers or they don't even have a picture, it just be, it looks a little bit suspicious. Um, it could be someone from your past that's spying or that is trying to uh, bring up the courage or find the courage to reach out to you and to try to communicate. I see someone that hasn't moved on from you. This is a person from your past. It could have been a situation where things just didn't go as planned. Um, for others of you, it could have been a situation that the partner or person you were dealing with could have been dealing with someone else. However, I do see them again coming back around. Don't be surprised if you hear from them in this month of March. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.